are. And tonight, the problem solvers investigate a local company accused of targeting the elderly with deceptive sales practices. The Better Business Bureau has a list a mile long on this particular alarm company. Problem solver Scott Mattis has details. Thank Scott. You. Well, good evening, Merle. It's an alarm company called The Alarm Company. According to the Better Business Bureau, if you or someone you know already has a home alarm, this company might be looking to talk to you. This is the outside of the Cordova business called The Alarm Company. You can see the name of the business painted on a piece of rubber outside their front door. But inside, the owners, Tom and Susan Brady, we're told, are not right there now. today. Yeah, when do you think they're going to be getting back? Across town, though, well, this woman, Suzanne Ratliff, good. is more than willing to talk to the problem solvers about the alarm company. What comes to mind when you hear the company name, the alarm company? Well... Nothing good, only everything negative. Her father, she says, recently became one of their latest victims. The alarm company sold him an alarm service when he already had one. He's 85 years old and has been diagnosed with mild dementia. I kept saying, well, what did they do? He said, well, they didn't do anything. They went back to the box, the ADT box, and did some things in the box and gave me a keychain alarm. According to Ratliff, her father did not know he was being asked to change alarm companies. She says he only thought he was going to get a free alarm keychain with his current company, ADT. And according to the Better Business Bureau, the company cleverly named the Alarm Company over the last three years have had a pattern of complaints alleging deceptive sales practices, including targeting the elderly. Their customers allege that they're misleading them. But Randy Hutchinson adds another of their methods is targeting homes with alarm stickers already on the home. They're going knocking on people's doors, representing that they're with the consumer's current alarm company and somehow convincing them and confusing them and misleading them into switching their services to the alarm company. When we went over to talk to the owners at their Cordova business location, I, I don't want to be on camera. We were told by two new employees that both Mrs. and Mr. Brady were out working in the field. Yeah, you can speak to Tom Brady, he'll be in tomorrow morning. While they say they've not received any calls of complaints. Now our customers seem to be pretty happy. According to the Better Business Bureau's website, nearly 700 people have logged on looking into the alarm company's unsatisfactory record. And in just the last 36 months, they've been reported to the Bureau 28 times, ranging from contract issues to product issues. So now, all Suzanne Ratliff and countless others can do is wait and wonder why this business is allowed to do business here in the first place. Now he's receiving phone calls from the finance company to pay them this fee. Now, family members say they closed the account with the alarm company as soon as they realized what had happened. But again, they're still being hounded by a card company, a credit company, for nearly $2,000 on behalf of the alarm company. Now, I tried to contact the owners of the alarm company on several different occasions. I've not spoken with them yet. Live in the studio, Scott Mattis, Fox 13 News.